on the P on the we on the we on collect on the E on the T on the D on we next on the T on the we on the bet on the C's on the heat on the we on the bet. What's good, homies? It's your boy Case. Ah, fuck. Nigga, I bit my tongue. What's good, homies? It's your boy K Spot. You know what I'm saying? Hey yo, check this out. So uh today we're checking out Bill Burr. Uh movie racial stereotypes. You know what I'm saying? Um Bill Burr, hilarious as usual. He's funny as hell. I like his point of view on, you know, different topics and all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, he presents it in a somewhat somewhat smart way, but it's hilarious as hell. And we're checking out, yeah, ra racial movie stereotypes. Did I read that right? Movie racial stereotypes. Um, I got nothing else to say. I'm excited to check this out. Let's go. Recently, have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all black swim team. Let me ask you a question How many of those white people are evil movies are they gonna make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. You know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? No, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil. Okay, please. Please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. It's still hitting them. Fuck! Turn the channel. <laughs> this is going to be on all week. Jesus Christ, turn the channel. In <laughs> uh, the 80s, there was like a football movie. Then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? And now... <laughs> It's all the way down to swimming, and I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. Plus, I've been in pools, there's been black people in the pool, you know. I never saw any white guy like trying to like fucking like prevent people from <laughs> the pool. <laughs> so they just like making this shit up. I'm not I'm not being a dick here either, okay? Just to clarify, you know, I just want to. Anybody coming up to me after the show, like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it. <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't think black shit people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying these movies, are like, the characters aren't even believable. Like, they always have to have, like, that the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's a guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? <laughs> he's like the dude they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> he's got, like, a big vein in his forehead. He's screaming and shit, look, not even looking around, you know? Dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. It's subtle. People look around first. Make sure, yeah. You know, to make sure the coast is clear. Disclaimers, like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? <laughs> That's how it goes down. Not just some guy just standing up there. I see from the pool. You don't crawl with it? <laughs> I work at the bank. Can I be fired immediately, please? Well, the honest thing is, in those movies, they're starting to give me a complex. You know? Because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? No mm. Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that like itchy? Yeah. Like, you? What is it? That's true. White dudes the only ones walking around, well, you guys don't eat cows? <laughs> you a bunch of fags? <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. No, I'm just saying, you know, just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? You know, like, what do you mean? You're hanging out. You had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics? You know, what do you smell like wet dogs, right? <laughs> you got headlights or something like that, right? Just... 
<laughs> Just slip some of that shit in there. I've never heard any of those. Get out of the pool. Wash your hair, motherfucker. Bring this <laughs> Make it seem a little more. <laughs> down to swimming. Where, where the fuck do you go from there? Would you like ping pong? <laughs> first all black ping pong team. They're gonna steal the paddle. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta steal the paddle. Why is my eye tearing up, bro? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not saying uh, I don't know, so we just weird bringing this shit up, but... No, I'm not saying white people aren't evil, either. Because I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. <laughs> I do, I, that's why I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. I try to dress casual, you know what I mean? I'm serious, man. I tried a suit on the other day, I felt it coming up. Like, fuck, man, I want to take over some shit, right? <laughs> I want to start telling people what to do. I want to go pollute the lake, blaming on my secretary, you know? <laughs> Dude, I don't like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know? Because there always has to be, like, some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> it's like that never happens, you know? Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening has he, like, tried to, like, teach me how to dance, you know? <laughs> you know, that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? And I never go to his neighborhood and, like, try to, like, save a school, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How many times are they gonna make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the projects. They just have to make a difference. And some audience is like, hell they, yeah. They just made that movie again with, uh, what was it, Hillary Swank? It's like, did you even need to go see it? It's like, let me guess. She shows up and they don't accept her, right? <laughs> she goes home, yeah. surprised to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking <clears throat> something for some reason, right? And he convinces her, he convinces her to give her one more chance, right? Yeah, yeah. So she goes back down there, she starts drawing out their inner beauty. Next thing you know, they put a do-rag on her, she starts fucking dancing. <laughs> and it's just embarrassing <laughs> for all women involved. For the love of God, stop making that fucking movie. <laughs> the amount of times uh, they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit, you know? She'd be like, oh, it's Mike, yeah, I said ghettos. That's what he does, you know? <laughs> Sports Center, you know, he's in the projects every weekend. He's writing his name on the blackboard. My name's Mr. Michael. All right, who threw that? Who threw that? <laughs> it's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Anytime the white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? <laughs> Alright, so that was uh, Bill Burr movie racial stereotypes. I agree with everything he said, bro. <laughs> that bro, that shit was funny as hell. Um, yeah, he was right about the movies, and that was so accurate. You know what I'm saying? And what he said about, you know, it's true. It's not only white people that are racist. You know what I'm saying? We need. You need to know that, bro. The only white people are racist, bro. Even in Africa. You know, people in Africa, there's racists everywhere. Let me, let me not just say in Africa. There's racists everywhere. All people can be racist. You know what I'm saying? Not just white people. Black people can be racist. Asian people can be racist. You know what I'm saying? It's not just white on black. Racist. Nah, bro. It goes both ways. Black people can be racist against black people. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But yo, that was funny as hell. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna just keep on putting out content. Woo woo, blah blah. Uh, Mobile Bird will come in the future. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to, cause I'm dropping different kinds of content on the channel. So I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Somewhat balance it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just trying to. Put out Bill Burr, Bill Burr, and, you know, forget the other content. Just pull out, put, put, push out anime, anime, you know what I'm saying? I got to mix it up, basically. You know what I'm saying? I got to mix it up, and I'm a 298 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I just need two more subscribers. Give me 
300 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? I need 700 more subscribers, you know what I'm saying? So we can start, you know, getting that money, you know what I'm saying? I already got to 4,000 hours of watch time. No, it's easy to do, you know what I'm saying? I like work. We just need to get these subscribers, you know what I'm saying? But yo, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. It's been your boy K-Spot.